It's amazing how far technology has come, from advancements in production to machines becoming more efficient and cost-effective whenever we have a project but don't have the right machine for the job. We just build one, whether it's an enormous mass that can crush through rock or a 45,000-ton saw powerful enough to cut through mountains. Here are the 15 most extreme industrial machines ever made. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. World's Most Insane Tree Crusher If you've ever seen the Dr. Seuss movie, The Lorax, you're familiar with the monstrous tree crushers used to slash the fictional Truffula tree forest. My guess is he was channeling the world's most insane tree crusher, the Latorno G175. Weighing in at 60 tons, this insane monster could easily crush up to four acres of trees per hour, averaging 32 acres in any eight-hour workday. The Latorno G175 had three five-bladed wheels that were extremely sharp and a large push bar to crush the trees. The wheels would easily break up the logs, swiftly crushing trees up to three feet in diameter and more than 50 feet tall. The average tree crusher could clear maybe 32 acres per day, where this monster could easily clear anywhere from 150 to 200 acres per day without hesitation. In 1968, when the U.S. government realized they weren't prepared for the camouflage and tactic that came along with the war in Vietnam, they leased two of these monstrous machines to plow through the jungle where the tree crushers easily cleared more than 3,000 acres. I'd say that quickly leveled the playing field, to say the least. Number 14. Underground Hydraulic Forge Weighing in at over 2,600 tons and producing up to 40,000 tons of force, the world's largest hydraulic steel press is a force to be reckoned with. Easily standing more than 60 feet tall, this massive machine has to be kept in a room with a floor made up of more than four feet of concrete and built at least eight stories underground. That's a lot of digging, which I'm sure required another massive machine of some sort. Nonetheless, this massive hydraulic forge has more than 1,700 moving parts alone, but the most important thing is that it has a return speed of about seven seconds, making this one of the most efficient machines in the world. Created by the specifications of Schultz Steel, a company over a half a decade old, this machine was definitely built to outlast its competitors, if any ever dared to emerge. The Hydraulic Steel Forge offers several operating modes, all of which are memorized and programmed for the next time the machine is used, ultimately creating the luxury hydraulic steel pressing experience. Work smarter, not harder, right? Number 13. The Ultimate Rock Crusher Manufactured by the Danish company Frankdom, the Frankdom Breaker is by far the world's largest hydraulic hammer, delivering up to 300 kilojoules of energy. This massive contraption can slam through up to 15 times more rocks than any other conventional hydraulic hammer of its class, easily crushing any form of rock that comes into its path. One interesting fact is the harder exterior of the rock, the easier the Frankdom Breaker can plow through it. The success of this machine's design comes from the fact that the machine produces so much energy in such a small area that the material is unable to absorb the energy, therefore disintegrating. Another plus is the fact that the design offers minimal wear and tear and extremely low noise levels compared to its competitors, making this innovative rock breaker truly ahead of its time. Over the past few years, the machines have been used in the large South African platinum mine, where it has proven much success and will soon have two more machines added to keep the stones rolling. Number 12. The Chain Trencher When you think of a chainsaw, I'm sure you probably think of a powerful, very loud handheld device, right? Or if you're anything like me, you think of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Well, the Chain Trencher is basically a chainsaw on steroids. This massive machine cuts through the ground with a sharp, heavy digging chain or belt that's wrapped around a metal frame. 
It's mainly used to build wider trenches in rural areas using a conveyor belt, which can be displayed on the right or left side. Chain trenchers, compared to other alternative methods, have proven to be the more cost-efficient and also have fewer adverse environmental effects. Coming in all shapes and sizes, these machines can be used to dig trenches, big or small, shallow or deep, often used in warfare to help build the war zones where soldiers would lay in trenches for long periods of time. The massive size that these machines can cover is remarkable. Number 11. The Bulldog of Bulldozers the Komatsu D575A bulldozer is the world's largest production bulldozer. With the capacity to dig a maximum depth of around 6 feet, this massive machine produces the ultimate productivity, while also having better traction and less vibration than its predecessors, making it the most comfortable of its kind. The rule of thumb for bulldozers is the heavier the machine, the more traction it has, and the Komatsu D575A is the heaviest of them all. It's the ultimate machine for producing more work in a shorter period of time. The blade on this bulldozer is about as wide as an average three-car garage with an 1150 horsepower engine. The average bulldozer just pushes dirt. This machine takes it a step above, not only pushing up to 90 cubic yards of material per pass, but also picking up and moving the dirt, making the average workload a lot easier. Just moving the machine from one work site to the next requires it to be broken down and shipped in up to eight truckloads. So basically, you need more heavy machinery to move the heavy machinery. Yeah, okay, got it. The Underground Giant You may remember the name Komatsu from the previous massive machine, but this time around they partnered with the company Caterpillar to commercially launch the first extremely massive underground mining machine, the Continuous Rock Miner. For years, the drill and blast method was the only real way to blast through walls and walls of rock, and years after years of no resolve when trying to invent something massive enough to plow through underground rock, Fortunately, in 2016, a technological breakthrough occurred, and the outcome was the continuous hard rock miner, ultimately reducing energy costs at work sites and making it easier to excavate sharp breakaways and crosscuts. This unique design of this extreme machine has a state-of-the-art cutting tool which enables each pick to have a hammer-like action when coming into contact with the rock. The continuous rational movements of the machinery and the short contact of the equipment against the rock produces less heat exchange, thus limiting the wear and tear of the equipment. This is a game changer for the underground mining world. I'm just not sure if this is good or bad. The world's biggest snowplow. Have you ever wondered who? or should I say, what is in charge of plowing the snow off the railroads? Well, me either. But now that I have your attention, let's talk about the rotary snowplow. Presented by the Western Pacific Railroad System, this giant snowplow actually started as an attachment that goes onto the front of the locomotive, clearing the tracks by throwing the snow high up into the air, up to 150 feet or more. The rotary snowplow has seen many phases, from the first machine running on steam, which was in the 1920s, then converted to diesel-electric in the 1970s. It's safe to say it takes about a small army to move a rotary snowplow, some coming in at 17 feet horizontally and 11 feet tall, and others having 50,000 self-propelled working weights with specially designed brooms, plows, and wings. Newer attachments now have even more features, such as brake de-icing, a snowblower, and a fully enclosed climate-controlled cab. I'm sure the time this equipment saves is well worth the muscle it takes to move it each year. The Modern Lumberjack We started with the world's most massive tree crusher, but this next extremely massive machine takes tree chopping to the next level. Extracting the trees from the root and ripping the tree limbs off, the Ponce Ergo can swiftly cut a five-foot tree down to a log in a matter of 20 seconds. The speed of this monster is definitely shocking to watch, even if you're not a tree. 
A 60 horsepower chainsaw is attached to a hydraulic arm. Once the hydraulic arm is attached to the tree, it slices through the tree as smooth as a knife through butter. Technology even takes it a step further by allowing fleet task management, such as the desired length cuts and quantities of logs, to be managed from your smartphone or tablet. These machines are so complex that Ponzi offers simulators for training to get employees more familiar before operating the actual machinery. After all, that's not necessarily a job you'd want to be thrown into. Known as the modern lumberjack, this massive beauty has been around since 2013 and is here to stay. The Godzilla Saw We've reviewed extreme machines that cut through trees, but let's talk about cutting through mountains. That's right, the Godzilla saw can scoop up to 4,500 tons of mountain coal per year. The average saw is used to cutting through wood and other lighter materials, but this saw is the epitome of extreme. Well, I still don't think that this is extreme as the giant tree shredder since its maximum speed is only about 1.6 kilometers every three hours, but the amount of punch this machine packs is worth the time. The name Godzilla comes from the massive size of the gadget, towering in at 300 feet tall and weighing over 45,000 tons. I see where they get the name from. I'd sure hate to be hiking on a mountain when this thing is around. The machine, much like the well-known Godzilla, can and will easily crush anything in its way. World's Biggest Caterpillar The Caterpillar 797 is the world's biggest mining dump truck. Caterpillar's trusted brand delivers tough equipment that promises performance and long life, no matter what the conditions are. Its powerful, high-performance engine is the perfect balance between fuel economy and efficient design. I mean, even the wheels on this thing are torqued to 2,300 pounds. That's 47 nuts and bolts needed for just one wheel. That's pretty massive. First emerging in 1998, there have been several versions of the Caterpillar 797 since its first production, getting better and more efficient each time, with the Caterpillar 797F being the largest, strongest model of them all, capable of producing about 4,000 horsepower with a seven-speed, computer-controlled, rear-axle-mounted planetary transmission, this machine can go on for days, not to mention the 2,000-gallon gas tank. One of these monster trucks cost approximately $5 million. World Fastest Farmer Farming has been taken to new heights, thanks to John Deere. One of the world's most trusted brands has created the newest self-propelled forage harvester. The 9000 series can harvest up to 400 tons of corn per hour and can be equipped with a 12-row header, making this John Deere's most advanced forest harvester ever produced. Offering a separate attachment with active fill control and rear unloading allows automatic truck and trailer filling and can be installed in the factory or right in the field. The self-propelled forage machines allow farmers to harvest far more than ever imaginable, with several benefits including lower costs for harvesting, better time management, better data management, and more consistent livestock feed product, thus also benefiting farmers that are beef or dairy producers. The life of a farmer seems to be all work and no play. This extreme machine can help them get more work done in less time, creating more time to hang out. The Iron Monster What if there was a train that could travel on whatever path you create, get to any destination, and build its own railroad as it goes along? Well, I introduce the SJ900-32. This Iron Monster literally can carry, lift, and place sections of track as it goes along, connecting pillar by pillar of heavy stone blocks, allowing transportation access over the tops of canyons and valleys like never before. A track renewal train is a work train, also known as a new track construction machine, that consists of many units of materials and machinery that are required for track renewals projects. After laying a new section of the track, the 300-foot wide train, guided by the 64 wheels, the train rolls backwards to collect another block, then rolls over and past the section it just laid to place another section. The unique yet 
interesting design allows this massive chunk of steel to even move sideways. It's pretty innovative, yet still sort of scary to see, right? This is one smart piece of machinery. The Car Shredder What's as big as a brontosaurus and has the power to crush up to 450 cars per hour? The world's largest car shredder. That's what. The monstrous mass is so gigantic that instead of measuring the mass and weight, it's measured in the amount of acres that it covers. A series of rapidly spinning, huge hammers that are powered by 40 tons with a 9200 horsepower high voltage electric motor can easily rip any vehicle to shreds, breaking vehicles down to fist sized chunks without a second look. The feeder pipe allows large chunks of metal to flow through the shredding area while a twin rolling compression feeder controls the speed, preventing too much material from flowing at the same time, ultimately keeping the machine clog free. This extreme machine takes up so much power, it has to be wired directly into the Welsh national power grid in order to draw sufficient power. Now, that sure has to be one high electric bill. <laughs> Extremely massive drill. We've all used, or watched someone else use, a handheld drill to hang curtains or pictures, right? Well, this drill is about 12 million times larger than that, and her name is Bertha. Number two is the world's largest tunnel boring machine ever, and after four years underground, it's finally been brought to light. The largest giant digger ever created, this mass had the super task of building a tunnel large enough to hold up to four lanes of traffic underneath the heart of Seattle. The tunnel boring machine traveled 1.7 miles, tunneling under the busy port city full of skyscrapers. I think it's safe to say that it's a pretty remarkable job for any machine. Made up of several moving components, from the cutter head to concrete panels and even a conveyor belt, this machine was built to sustain it all. The idea was to cause as little disruption as possible by tunneling under the city. But soon, geology and technical difficulty would come into play. After reconstruction, Bertha finished the job, and only two years after, and $200 million outside the budget. World's Largest Vehicle Holding the Guinness Book of World Records world title for the world's largest land-based vehicle, the German-made giant bucket wheel excavator called the Bagger 293 weighs over 31 million pounds. This model of the excavator was created in 1995 and stands about 315 feet tall and 740 feet long. With this amount of mass, the enormous craft requires a crew of five people to operate and can move over 8.5 million cubic feet of earth per day. In comparison, that's equivalent to the length of a football field and about 80 feet deep. This vehicle has no need to speed, making a three-week journey from the factory to its first mine. The 80-mile journey was completed at a pace no faster than one kilometer per hour. The way the Bagger 293 operates is there's a 70-foot wheel at the end of an extended arm with a series of buckets attached. The buckets pick up dirt as the wheels roll along and drop it into a conveyor belt, which then transports the earth to other vehicles to be removed to the dumping site. It's safe to say that this is one truly extreme machine. There we have it, the 15 most extreme industrial machines ever made. Which one of these machines was your favorite? Did any of them scare you? If they did, or even if they didn't, tell us all about it down in the comments. You've been hanging out with the Supreme. We'll see you next time.